Elegant Themes has just released a new feature in Divi 5, the Loop Builder. The Loop Builder gives you full visual control over how repeating content is displayed, whether it's blog posts, products, events, portfolios, or any custom post type in WordPress. Now, if you've ever used the blog or portfolio modules in Divi, you might be thinking, why do I need the Loop Builder if I already have those? Well, here's the thing. The standard blog module is great, but it has limited layout and styling options. You can toggle elements like the author or date, but their position and style are fixed. You're working within a predefined structure. With the Loop Builder, you break free from those limits. You can design your own layout from scratch. Complete control over the look, feel, and structure of each post or item in the loop. Want a custom blog card? A stylized event tile? A product grid that fits your brand perfectly? You can do all that, visually, using Divi's drag and drop builder. So in this video, I'm gonna set up a basic blog with the loop builder, and then I will show you three examples that I have created, including two blog layouts and a custom event calendar. Let's dive in. All right, let me walk you through the basics of how the Loop Builder works. To start, I've created four blog posts under the Posts section. Each post has a title, a description, and a featured image. Just the standard stuff we'll use in our loop. Now let's build a custom loop layout for these posts. On the front end, I'll add a new row to this section and choose a one-column layout. Inside that column, I'll add an image module. This will hold our featured image. Next, I'll add a second row, this time with a two-column layout. I'll place a text module in each column, one for the category, one for the publish date. Below that, I'll add a heading module for the post title, and finally, a button module. And just like that, we have the basic structure of our custom blog card layout. Now it's time to turn this layout into a loop and connect it to dynamic post content. First, open the column settings, scroll down to the loop section, and toggle Enable Loop Element. This tells Divi that this column will repeat for each post in the loop. Now we assign the dynamic content to each module. Click on the Image module, hover over the Image field, and select Use Dynamic Content, Looped Featured Image. Click on the first text module, choose Loop Post Terms. This will display the post category. In the second text module, select Loop Publish Date to show the post's published date. For the heading module, insert Loop Post Title. And finally for the button, go to the link settings and choose Loop Link. This links the button to the actual post. Just like that, each element is now pulling the correct data from each post. Now let's style the layout a bit to make it look cleaner. I'll start by adjusting the column structure. Head back to the row settings, go to the design tab, and under layout, enable wrap for layout wrapping. Then go into the column settings, still under the design tab, and adjust the column structure under sizing. From here, it's all up to your creativity. You can fully customize your blog card using all of Divi's design tools. Adjust spacing, change fonts, tweak colors, add hover effects, borders, shadows, background images, whatever fits your style. Want to add icons, tags, or even custom fields? You can do that too. The Loop Builder gives you complete design freedom, so your blog layout can match your brand perfectly without writing a single line of code. Now let me show you a few examples I've built using the Loop Builder. First up, this one is quite similar to the layout we just created. It includes a featured image, category, post title, and a read more button. But I've made a few enhancements here. The button is aligned to the bottom for consistent positioning. And I've added an author section at the bottom of the card. This author section is built using a blurb module. The author's name is pulled in using loop author, and the profile picture uses the author profile picture dynamic field, all fully styled with Divi. In the second example, I've taken a different approach. The featured image is used as a background for the column itself. This is super easy to do. Just open the column settings, go to background, and insert dynamic content. Select looped featured image. It creates a clean, modern layout with the content layered on top. And finally, here's something a bit different, an event calendar layout. Instead of using posts, I've used projects as the post type. For each event, I've added custom fields for the event date, day, location, and time. These are set up using advanced custom fields. To display them, you simply insert a text or heading module, then choose Loop Post Custom Field as the dynamic content source. 
Under Enter Custom Meta Key, type the name of your custom field. And that's it. I'll be creating a step-by-step -step tutorial for this event calendar layout very soon. So make sure to subscribe if you want to learn how to build it from scratch. And that's it for this overview of the Divi 5 Loop Builder. As you can see, it opens up a ton of creative possibilities, from simple blog layouts to advanced custom designs like event calendars. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss the upcoming step-by-step -step tutorial on building the event calendar layout from scratch. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.